happening people welcome to another video with all sorts and here we have three of the latest super clones uh, when it comes to the smartwatch airpods and uh, smartphones uh, in this video today we are going to unbox and review the latest sierra blue iphone 13 pro max this is a super clone uh, even has the seal tabs as you can see right here but just before i get started make sure you follow me in one of the social medias above as i always put up sneak peeks on what to expect and also and if you haven't seen my previous videos with the super clone uh, series 7 there we go and also the super clone uh, airpods 3 even also has the seal tab as well make sure you check out my previous videos i will leave the link in the description box below anyways let's put these aside let's unbox and review the super clone iphone 13 pro max in sierra blue Here we have it, the latest version iPhone 13 Pro Max in Sierra Blue. I have done a version one, which uh, wasn't uh, an identical, the box was different, and also uh, you couldn't get it in Sierra Blue, which we have right here. So we're just in basic colors, but um, as I thought, you know, you want to see the, uh, the identical version. Here we have it here. I don't know if the version one had the pull tabs. It's been a while since I uh, unboxed and reviewed it. If you want to check that video out, I will leave the link in the description box below, but this is the latest version i don't feel like opening this because just looking at it and feeling it you'd actually think it was an original if someone gave me this and uh, they didn't they said it was real i would actually believe them because look at it everything is exactly the same the size of the box the pull tabs the pictures iphone as well you've got the hint of sierra blue as you can see look the picture and the uh, the logo everything is exactly the same don't worry i will show you uh, make another video or even actually tell you in this video how you can spot uh, a reel from a fake so don't worry about that anyways let's uh, pull the tabs and let's see what this is what uh, well how they have faked the sierra blue and what we get inside so here we go that's one trying to get the other one here we go there we go so that's two uh, just before i open it up let's see what uh, we have at the back so you've got the iphone 13 pro max designed by apple in california and assembled in china probably designed by google phone and made in china Includes iPhone 13 Pro Max and USB Type C to lightning cable power adapter. A bit more information required wireless service plan. That's all fake. Uh, look, take a look at the bottom. You've got a few IMEI numbers, barcodes, uh, the Apple address, and a few trademarks and a QR code and everything else. So, yeah, it just gives you uh, some uh, information about the original iPhone, not this fake one. Of course, this is made by Google Phone. Uh, we are going to see what we can do with the iPhone itself. I might have to make another video. Uh, to show you what kind of features it has and whatnot because uh, this video will be too long so let's open it up and here we have it look at the color wow i haven't got an original sierra blue at hand to compare the color but so far it looks all right just before we take a look at the phone let's see what we get inside so as you can see here designed by apple in california wow have you got any stickers i doubt it fake never have stickers in so as you can see you got the sim card ejector tool you also have the apple manuals which looks entirely the same now if someone actually opened this they would actually get tricked into being original look how original it is the telltale sign that you've got a fake is this right here the wire it's supposed to be a usb type c but yeah it's just a usb to lightning connector so that is a, a big telltale sign you've got a fake if you open a box and it has this one in uh, then make sure you don't buy it don't get scammed so may, maybe they might change that in the future or someone might just replace it with the a usb type c but there's a few other things to check out so that is it that's what we get inside the box pretty basic to be honest because the original one you only get the manual than the uh, charging wire you don't get the power brick and uh, plastic all over which they used to have before now putting that aside let's check this out 
uh, of course if it comes in a plastic shoe like this it should have the sticker um, if it comes like this in a plastic pouch like this it's definitely a fake because the original ones don't come in that so that's another telltale sign I'll try and do them as I go along but look at the color let's give you an in-depth look So what do you think so far? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I'm actually liking the color as well. I don't know if it's in a one-to-one -one color, but we're gonna have to see in another video when we put it up against the original. But powering this on, as you can see, you've got the boot up logo, the same as the original, black background, upper logo. Uh, we'll just leave that to boot up, but overall, it's got a really nice shine to it. It's got a matte, feel at the back with a really nice gloss shine around it you got the sim card ejector tool uh, volume rockers the uh, silent and loud button antennas on the side and also you've got the uh, lightning connector no headphone jack a speaker that mic at the bottom and also the power on and off button as well nothing at the top so as you can see straight away you've got a bezel the double tap to wake no it isn't so yeah uh, let's power around so as you can see uh, the um, bezel at the top uh, is not the same as the bottom but it has gone a bit smaller uh, as you can tell it's not a really big bezel at the bottom the notch has gone smaller the same as the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max as well do these actually work let's hold them in or oh, you have to swipe it up I don't know that one doesn't work no nope, these doesn't work so as you can see here it's just gone daft now first of all as you can see new message uh, that's one telltale sign it's a fake it's got an android uh, keyboard skin so that's definitely a, a fake. you can tell it's a fake so let's go back into um, the home screen as you can see the it has it's running android but it's got an ios skin uh, let's see the little nitty gritty bits that they have uh, on this iphone to see if it's same as the original as i've got on 12 pro max they get the little showcase uh, we're gonna see so let's put the volume rocker up as you can see here you've got the volume rocker the same as well which is really cool so you can uh, it goes small and when you hold it it goes big and you can swipe it up and down swiping it to the left will bring the notifications which is same swiping it uh, to the right as you can see you've got your search bar which is cool and you've also got your little widgets as well so your battery percentage uh, we're going to see if you can actually change them later in the video swiping it to the right you have your shortcuts you've got your uh, Wi-Fi, music, uh, silent, do not disturb, uh, brightness, let's bright, turn it all the way up, you've got your volume and also a few shortcuts you can add, so let's try and do the 3D touch and as you can see here, it's not a 3D touch, you just hold it in and it will bring up uh, similar to the 3D touch, you can turn dark mode on as well which is really cool, dark mode does work which is cool, let's go into settings and see that, as you can see here, dark mode does work and you can actually change it from here so where was it again it was here yes so night shift you can change that on well change that on and off and true tone i don't know if that actually works or not but we'll just leave it on uh, it doesn't work with the volume but you know it's still actually it's still there if you want it so let's go to the home screen as you can see it's really nice uh, touch sensitivity it's not really laggy compared to the previous one really nice swiping it down from the left to right swiping it back up uh, let's hold and swipe up and as you can see here you can switch between the apps do the apps close when you swipe up yes they do so that's another good uh, feature right there uh, let's uh, it doesn't actually tap to wait so holding in the uh, uh, power and volume up button will screenshot it holding in the power button and volume down you can actually turn it off or sos mode so that's really cool right there let's go back into the home screen and hold on to one of these apps to see if we can edit straight away you can actually edit delete these yes you can delete it 
let's try and add one and yes as you can see here you can add it so let's uh oh wait hold on okay i figured it out so i'll show you how to do it now so hold it in press plus and what you have to do is choose your widget hold the widget and as you can see here you can add it straight to the home screen whichever widget you want so that is really really cool you can actually do it that way so let's uh, try and look at all of well we'll try and look at a few apps while well, they've already got some uh, uh, preloaded apps i'm not going to show them because it keeps going back that uh, you got you've seen your calendar i don't know why it keeps going back i think if you want me to look at them pictures don't you this iphone has got a mind of its own i think because i deleted one of the widgets it's just gone daft after that so let's go into messages as you can see here it's got an android uh, uh, keyboard so that's definitely different We're going to music similar to the original as well there's no songs in it because i'm not going to use it let's uh, go back so as you can see here you've got two pages of apps you got your weather find iphone find friends let's go into home that's definitely similar to the original uh google we didn't click that keeps clicking its own to be honest so i think oh it's moving by itself watch it go back into photos <laughs> it's weird this so you got youtube tiktok uh, you got your social media apps you got your wallet which is android pay <laughs> so uh, we need to go into settings to see what it's like but as, as you can see look at that so uh, yeah you've got a few other apps app store what does that come up with i'm pretty sure it's a uh, android skate well android apps but we'll connect it to wi-fi later when we check the camera you got your podcast and your videos which already clicked itself see it keeps clicking in videos now see it wants me to have some videos it's got a mind of its own this one so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to show you a quick clip of the camera uh then we're going to check out um the what apps we can download and also see if i can get a geekbench result to see what uh, this is about let's go into settings and have a look at what we have as you can see the layout is exactly the same you got your wi-fi you can choose it just swipe back actually work let's swipe it back is it working even the yeah let's go into notifications will it work then so yes it does let's go in control center you have to push it down onto the screen quite hard and it will actually go back as you can see right here but it does work so these nitty gritty things on this new ios skin actually do work so as you can see you got your general and you've got your information right here uh, there is one thing uh, i want to check out let's uh, hold it back as you can see now with the original you can actually tap the back and it will actually do a screenshot so let's go into accessibility and as you can see here you got back tap right there so let's go back into the home screen i'm actually tapping it on the back as well yeah let's let's do it that way right so as you can see here oh this this phone is starting to piss me off as you can see you got to do it really hard see there you go it does have the back tap which is kind of weird you've got to do it in different see it's just doing it however now look at that i don't know how it's doing it you have to shake it so there's a little bit of a delay see look if i, if I swipe up it'll take a screenshot see look at that phone going daft proper going daft anyways while this is going daft on the screenshots let's take a look at, at the camera footage i'm going to take a quick video of the box and show you so here is one times let's click two times that's the two times as you can see here the stability is not really great so i'm going to click two times again so you've not got the ultra wide you've not got uh, 10 times zoom it's just two times zoom uh you can actually zoom in a bit more up to about 10 but look at the look at the pixels you can actually see it. the quality is not that good you can't zoom out it's not widescreen uh ultra wide sorry but as you can see here that is the quality of the fake iphone 13 pro max let's focus it in as you can see right there 
So there we have it ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to go too deep into this phone because I need to check it out to see what it's like and uh, yeah if you want to see any other videos with this phone, a tear down, what's inside uh, or a, a full camera test or whatnot, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I will be putting quite a few shorts up as well um, of different things so make sure you stay tuned and also you subscribe because this is actually going daft. As soon as I actually deleted the widget and then it just stopped going daft because I used it before and it was alright. Now it's gone alright, I don't want to jinx it. But yeah, overall, uh, not a bad iPhone to be honest. Um, other than it does stuff by itself, like it's going into photos. I don't want to go on that page because it might go into there. So uh, yeah, le let me know what your thoughts are. If you want to see any other videos, let me know in the comment section below. There is the iPhone 13 Pro Max Goof on fake version in Sierra Blue. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again for another video.